On Monday, traders dealing in produce such as maize and beans protested at the Motukula border point in Rakai district after Tanzanian authorities blocked trucks ferrying their produce from entering the country. <laughs> Our efforts to speak to the Tanzanian officials at Mutukula border and at the High Commission in Kampala were futile. Chairperson of the Parliamentary Committee on Tourism, Trade and Industry, Robert Kasule Sebunya, believes the Tanzanian officials acted without regard to the spirit of the East African community. However, he urged them to always engage the Ugandan traders on what is allowable to save them from incurring losses. They should put uh, in consideration how our farmers and our traders suffer with this, with this trade. Give them advance warning, let me say, maybe in a month we will close the borders to maize and beans. And then somebody does not have to transport uh, maize from all the way and then take it to the border only to be refused by the Tanzanian government. However, State Minister for East African Community Affairs Julius Maganda falls some traders who he says don't follow all the regulations for exporting products, especially the need for a certificate of origin of the products. When you tell a trader that go to the Minister of Trade, secure a simple certificate of origin from Uganda, and then that certificate of origin will give you the, 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 the capacity to trade in Tanzania. They don't want. They want to load their trucks and straight away move. Now, when they get in Tanzania, they will ask them where uh, are these goods coming from. So the problem begins from there. One of Uganda's representatives to the East African Legislative Assembly, Fred Mukasambide, accuses the ESC Council of Ministers of little or no action in implementing the protocol on the free movement of goods across East Africa. This is the council that must be blamed. This is the council that is actually violating the provisions of the NTB Act. In, most, in my opinion, the traders now have nothing but to result to, of course, what they are doing in terms of riots and also approaching court for purposes of resolution. We have a staff there who is responsible for these areas of problems and complaints that come to be sorted out there and then. So I think since we have done, we are getting into our director to ensure our staff is not fired and then these traders can be helped out. As like with sugar, I think the minister intervened. The president intervened, they talked to Tanzania, and they allowed out sugar to go. And I think also this time they are going to engage uh, the Tanzanian government to at least allow, allow our, our traders to, to export our beans and, 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 and maize to Tanzania. Some of the trucks with produce of Ugandan traders are still parked at Mutukula border post. Ali Mivule, NTV. <laughs>